Howdy, kids, couchers. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be able to speak like a cowboy the whole time. For today, we're going to need our Bible for the whole lesson. In this episode, we're going to be speaking about Joel. Not this Joel. Oh. Bye. Bye. We're going to be speaking about the prophet Joel. So I want you to try and find the book of Joel in your Bible. Now it's in the Old Testament. And what can help you is if you look right in front of your Bible, it should have an index for contents right in front. Then look for the name Joel and when you find it, it should have the page number right next to it. Mine is 1111. So I'm going to look for page 1111. But I'm sure it's going to be different in your Bible. So go ahead, look for Joel. You can pause this video and when you found the book, start it again. So the book of Joel only has three chapters, so it's quite a short book, but what we can see in the first chapter, I'm not going to read all of it, you can read it whenever you have time to, but in the first chapter, it's sort of like a warning to the people and asking them to repent and to wake up, see what they've been doing wrong and come back to God. And then in chapter two, we see how the people are waking up and then God promises to make their land fruitful again, meaning that their seeds will grow. A little bit further is our key scripture for today. So we're going to look at Joel chapter 2 verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Verse 29. And also on my men servants and my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days. That was a promise that God was giving through the prophet Joel to his people. And we know that he has done that. When Jesus went up to heaven, he then sent the Holy Spirit down. Welcome everybody, we are all the way down in Cape Town <laughs> for this episode of Kids Couch. I am gonna do some planting with you today. So for us to plant a seed, we need to work the ground beforehand. We need to get the soil ready. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna loosen the soil a bit, all the get all the rocks loosened and all the soil because we don't want the seed to die in the soil, right? When we plant the seed, we want it to grow and be a beautiful, nice plant. Um, now, Jesus also told the story of how we get different soils. And I want you to imagine today that this soil is like your heart. Now, uh, we need to prepare our hearts to receive the seed that God wants to plant inside of us. Then I need to water the ground just to prepare it so it's nice and soft and moist for the seed to grow in. Now that the soil is ready, we can plant the seed. Now I have my seeds here. This is a plant that I want to plant here. As you can see, these are little seeds, so tiny, but once they are planted, it's going to grow and it's going to be a beautiful plant. Now. Do you know that the word, the Bible, is like this little seed in our lives? In our lives, the Bible is like that. Now, in the parable that Jesus told about the different kinds of soil and the seed that's being sown, that seed in Luke 8 verse 11, Jesus speaks about the word, the word of God that is sown into our lives. And also in 1 Peter 1 verse 23, let me read it to you. 
it says that for through the eternal and living word of God, you have been born again. And the seed, the seed that he planted within you can never be destroyed, but will live forever inside of you. So the seed of the word, the word of God will live forever inside of you. So let's plant these seeds, right? Now I've made two rows over here that I can plant my seeds in. And we have to space them equally. So I'm going to plant a seed right there, a seed right there, and there. So three of them, so they have enough space. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now the seed is in the ground. The seed is ready to be watered after this. But I want to make a statement that without the seed in the ground, the ground would be empty right now without the word of god inside of our hearts and inside of our minds we would be empty so i want to encourage you guys make sure that the seed is inside of us god wants to plant a little seed inside of you you that is going to grow up to be a nice tree like this nice tree right big tree beautiful tree now, God's word is going to be beautiful inside of you and it will not die if we allow the water to come and fall. Now, as we are going to close up these small trenches that we dug for the seed that is planted right there now, as we are closing them, we are going to water them so that these seeds can grow because seed needs water, right? It needs lots and lots of water to grow and to shoot root um, and all of those. So we are going to water this. Do you know that the word inside of you, that is the seed, also needs water? Now what do you think resembles water? What can be water in our lives for the seed? The Holy Spirit, right? In Joel 2 verse 28, it says that the Holy Spirit would be poured out. Now we know that the Holy Spirit has already been poured out like this, right? Like the water is pouring out now. The Holy Spirit has already been poured out on us, right? In our lives, the Holy Spirit is like the water. He comes like soft rain and rains down on our hearts and comes to water the seed and grow the word that is inside of us so it can become a nice plant. We all want nice plants, right? In our heart. So the Holy Spirit comes to do that. So we need the seed, we need the word, and we need the water that is the Holy Spirit to make this uh, a successful planting process. You'll see how this plant grows.